So I just want to do a quick review of this Coveco Classic Sport Fountain Pen. This is a $20 fountain pen, the full pla plastic body, and a full clear design. It's sold in other varieties, such as a full opaque design. There's also an ice design, which has a clear body and section, but a translucent cap uh, and a few others. They're all pretty cool looking and they all sell for about, about $20, give or take. Uh, I bought it in a broad. I have also bought a nib replacement unit. So basically from here to here for $9. So I moved this to a double broad. You can see uh, the pen as it arrived had the Caveco Royal Blue ink and this gold broad nib. I've since moved it to the double broad. Get into that later. I just basically for $29 or $30, I was able to get a pen with a broad and a double broad nib. And uh, you could flip between them basically in about 30 seconds, with no mess. Comes in this paper box. It's fine. No instructions, nothing fancy. You just get a cartridge with it. No tools, nothing like that. The pen, capped and transportable, is quite undersized. See it next to a Platinum Preppy, which is a pretty standard pen. It's meant to be used posted, and now you basically have a full-size fountain pen. So if you're not into small pens and you think this is too small, that's because it is. You use it posted and it's very solid, has a nice post action, and now you have a pretty nice pen. And it's actually pretty well balanced. It's not like particularly back heavy or anything like that. The body's entirely plastic. I guess this little finial thing, maybe metal. I think it's probably plastic too. And there's a plastic cap in there to keep everything nice and wet. And what happens is this piece comes off. It has a cartridge. This is the nib unit and then the section. Uh, you can buy it with a converter, but the converter costs about $5 and I didn't upgrade to it. Basically how it works is that the cartridge can't push through the section this way. And the nib is attached to the feed unit which basically, again, which is this black part from here to here. And this cannot push through the section this way, so they marry and nothing slides around. Without the section, here's what you have. You have the nib, the feed unit, whatever you want to call it, and the cartridge. And they, they actually write just like this, not that you would ever use it, but you can see. So as for just build quality and all these things go, I think a lot of people have used the Caveco, but actually it's a very clever design. It's nice, it's uh, you know not like super rugged, but it's definitely dependable. And it's great for just throwing in a pocket or a backpack. It does screw shut, so you have a nice solid little unit here. Unscrew it, post it, solid post, and you're good to go. The the back is sealed, so there's no holes or anything up here. So if you do want to convert this to an eyedropper, you can. But then moving this nib unit over to a different nib unit would involve cleaning and disassembly and all these other things. And it would be a kind of pain. Whereas right now I could flip my cartridge, I could flip my nib unit in again, like 30 seconds flat. So I probably, even though I tend to use the cartridges, uh, tend to use the converters, I'm probably gonna stick with a cartridge for this. Let's jump to some pre-made writing I did. Sorry about that. Here we have the Caveco Classic Sport Double Broad. So that's what I'm using right now with that uh, Cran de Ash Magnetic Blue. Nice thick lines. It's a generous double broad. Kind of what I would want from a double broad, or what I do want from a double broad. Uh, the Caveco Classic Sport Broad with the Caveco Royal Blue ink. This is how it arrived stock. You know, for that $20 I spent, is exactly what you got. And it's a nice broad, you know, kind of a, a medium broad broad. Uh, not a lot of flex there. 
both these nibs are quite stiff, so I would not expect to see a lot of line variation, but what you get when using a broad or definitely the double broad is you see ink variation just because you're putting down a lot of ink. So if you use a nice paper, it does some interesting things. And this is the uh, Midori paper cotton, cotton paper. And this one does very interesting things with some inks. Do some quick writing right now because that's a good way to test these pens out, I'm told. And here we have the Triumph, which is a nice writing paper. Probably not as interesting as that Midori, but I tend to use this for testing, so it works from a consistency standpoint. And like I said before, I'm using that magnetic blue ink from Cron Dash. How do you say that? So now we have the Caveco, and it's the classic sport, not the sport classic. And this is with a double broad nib. Smooth rider, no problems there, but you're again putting down a ton of ink. Not a lot of line variation, but again, you could see the variation as the ink collects at the bottom of the stroke, and that's just because you're putting down a lot of ink. So if you are happy with the color of your ink and how it works with your paper, you should get really nice results here. And again, just to prove that you can write with this ridiculous thing, this is the, uh, it's been sitting upside down for a while, but we'll give it a moment. <laughs> I promise it writes. Again, it's not a great idea because if this cartridge pops off, then we're gonna have a big mess. But I'd like to show you some lines. So there you go with the Caveco Broad. <laughs> that did not work out so well, but you get the point. And the Caveco Double Broad. Uh, all things considered, I think this is a nice little pen. I think it's a good deal. For $20, I really like that you could flip the nib unit with no problem. And just being able to go from a broad to a double broad for only $9, I think is great. Because so often you end up buying a whole new pen just to do that. So it's really convenient. Uh, and this is a good pen just to have with you and carry day to day. Uh, not only is it pocketable and dependable, but it tends not to go dry. It's sealed pretty nicely, so you don't have to worry about any leaks. And then actually, you know, if you're gonna pull a pen out of the office and do some writing, uh, I think these look pretty cool. And they'll, they are available in some very nice colors. Not too flashy, not too big. Uh, so I think it's a good fit for that. So yeah, that is the Caveco Classic Sport Fountain Pen. Thanks for watching.